The filmmakers behind Batgirl revealed they don't have any footage of the film saved, but are still hopeful to release the film one day. In a new interview for Script, Adil El Arbi and Bilal Falah offered more details from their perspective on the shelved film that was in post-production. The two said they were in the middle of the editing process when executives from Warners told them that the film was being shelved. The guys from Warners told us it was not a talent problem from our part or the actress, or even the quality of the movie. The decision to can the film came from Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zosloff, who opted to shelve the project in order to take a tax write-down on the $90 million film. Pala revealed how he felt after hearing the news, saying, First, when I heard the news, I was shocked. I didn't know how to react. I wanted to break stuff, cry, even laugh. I was like, this is not happening. The two also noted being taken aback by the online support. We just hope that one day the movie will be released for the cast and crew. We are a small family. The pair was also asked if they hoped that Batgirl would have a resurrection like Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League, they noted there's still a ways to go. If Warners wanted us to release the Batgirl movie, they would need to give us the means to do it, to finish it properly with our vision. They also revealed they no longer have access to the footage. No, we have nothing. Adil called me and said, go ahead, shoot some things on your cell phone. I went on the server and everything was blocked. For more details on the story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.